Well, hello and welcome to another exclusive interview on Cruise TV. It's a wonderful thing that now in the cruise industry, people from all walks of life are beginning to discover the wonders of cruising. And I'm sitting here with a gentleman that of course you'll recognise. He's a holder of seven Guinness World Records. He's a celebrated children's author. He's also a popular TV presenter of The Gadget Show and many more. And he's also a keen triathlon eventer. I'm speaking, of course, to Jason Bradbury. Jason, thanks so Great much for joining me, us. Pete. That's a very nice introduction. Well, you, you're I feel like a superstar. Now. Well, you are a bit of a superstar. I mean, it's it's quite for incredible. Geeks. <laughs> for geeks and gamers, maybe, but for normal people, probably not. Well, and also on Twitter. I mean, you're, you're big on social media. Two hundred thousand followers, yeah. I believe. I love a bit of Twitter. I yeah. Have to, uh, I have to admit to being a little bit addicted to Twitter. And many other things, all gadget, all gadget related, aren't yeah. you? I mean, well, of course, yeah. You've invented several things like a DIY hoverboard. Yeah, I mean, I think inventing, uh, again, I'll, I'll take the, uh, the word, thank you very much, but <laughs> I, I'm, I'm more into sort of like hacking and modifying other people's stuff. So, yeah, you're right, we, we did a, a hoverboard build um, many years ago, actually, using a, a leaf blower. So I'm a bit obsessed with like Back to the Future and that whole sort of Hollywood concept of, of gadgets. And, and I, I was really determined to make a hoverboard but using a haulback array, which is actually how um, a proper uh, levitating magnetic hoverboard would work, but we won't go into that, is very complicated. Mm. Using a leaf blower that effectively makes a cushion of air that you hover on, that's something that I could do. And so I made that. Uh, in fact, I did several versions involving one with a jet engine on it, which is rather cool. I can imagine so. Yeah. Now, you, you mentioned Back to the Future. Yes. And I believe one of your current... My kind project. of projects is the, DeLorean. the DeLorean. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I bought a DeLorean, which um, uh, some of your viewers will know, is a, a, a sort of iconic car from uh, the, the early 80s, about 1981, I think they were released. And I bought one of those uh, several months ago with a friend of mine. And then we set about uh, converting it into the car from Back to the Future that Doc makes, you know, with the nuclear reactor on the back. It's not got a real nuclear reactor, so... <laughs> Calm down, everyone. And uh, and then he then uses it to go, you know, back to the future. Um, and it's it's like, it's a bit of fun, um, and it's also something that we're going to use for events and things. So it's, it's been really exciting. It's just finishing this week, actually. Now, is this something that you'll because I know you're going to be going on on Anthem of the Sea soon, yeah. which is the new Can't wait. the new Royal Caribbean smart ship. Yeah. You've already been on Quantum. Are you, are you? Is it a possibility people might see you turning up in? Oh, South I'd love Hampton that. Although the thing the is, the only problem is that the, the whole point of, of me doing that is to sort of like um, excite people about technology. And actually, uh, you know, Anthem, uh, Anthem, and Quant Quantum are both far more exciting as <laughs> tech <laughs> vehicles than my car would ever be. So I think actually. Um, I'd be uh, outshadowed in every single sense. Uh, in fact, I never, never forget actually turning up in Southampton to go on to Qu uh, Quantum. And just the scale of the ship mm. uh, is astonishing. Because actually, I was a cruise virgin before. I heard this. It was your first time, Quantum, wasn't yeah. it? Okay. Yeah. And how was that, having, you know, having your cruise virginity ripped away from you? <laughs> like, board, so what a strange it. analogy. <laughs> um, no, it was, um, it was absolutely incredible. It was amazing. I mean, I now expect all cruise ships to be as, uh, you know, technically enhanced. The bar's been set very high for you. In, in yeah, words. it's really yeah. high. I mean, mm. you know, it's, inc it's, inc it's absolutely incredible. In fact, the view out of my uh, stateroom is very similar to this. Um, I had like, I had a nice big balcony mm. uh, in, and, and loads of windows everywhere. Uh, huge screens in all the different rooms. I have about three different rooms, I think. Two bedrooms. And a, oh, you were in the, the, the interconnected family stateroom? Yeah, is that one? which is really good yeah, for families. So I've got three children. Okay. So I need, you know, I need room. And I, I, I don't take this the wrong way. I, Obviously, I live for my kids, but me and my wife need a bit of separation as well. And what mm. was nice about uh, the setup in the room was that we had that. They had their own room. Uh, we had a lounge in the middle, and then mom and dad have their room uh, and two separate bathrooms, uh, uh, actually. So um, you can it, close the door, can't you? You can which close is, the door, which, which is the nice thing. Well, yeah, it, that's they, not traditional within. Yeah, they break cruise the door system. down if I actually closed it, but I can put, it, <laughs> I can put it two. And, okay. and, uh, yeah, and we had a nice bit of. And so mom and dad's room. Uh, can be nice and tidy, yeah. and you can enjoy all the, the benefits of um, incredible broadband and uh, audio-visual setup that I've got in there. It's, it's really top-end, and mm. you know I'm a bit of an aficionado with my audio-visual. Uh, I need my data as well, and so uh, I can tell you that the, the setup, uh, certainly in my stateroom, is absolutely extraordinary. The interesting thing I should mention as well is that you, uh, I'm, I'm beginning to understand the, the, the challenges of... of, of um, some cruises now. Um, not, uh, so I might have been, this might have been my first time, my wife is an, is an old hand. So oh, she, okay. she grew up with her grandparents cruising all over the world. 
And one of the things that she explained to me was that when you have rooms in different positions on the ship, you don't always get a view. Mm. And actually, the brilliant thing about Anthem and Quantum is that they've actually got around this with something they, they call virtual balconies. Um, and it's an 80-inch 80, 80 um, uh, ultra-high-definition screen that's connected to a camera that is in the, the correct position because it would feel a bit weird, apparently, if it wasn't in the correct mm. position. And so you do have a virtual view, similar to this one. Anywhere on the ship, you're guaranteed a view, which I think is a really nice innovation. It can be real-time footage as well, can't it? So when you're sailing oh, through it's completely, places, it's just yeah, a camera. It's it's a high, yeah. In fact, I believe it's a 4K camera, actually. Um, I'm not going to vouch for whether the feed is, is, is 4K. It's a very high-definition high picture mm. because I've seen it. It's high quality. Um, but I love the, the idea, so it orientates you, you know, sort of geographically, you know where you are, you know where, when the ship's in dock, you know when you're out at sea, you know when you're coming into port, because you can, you can see it. Which is really good, because having, having worked on ships for many years, if you are in an inside cabin, you never know what time of day it is, because it's always, it's yeah. always dark as soon as you close the door, so it's great, because it does give you that sense it's brilliant. of it's really, and it, and, and daylight. Really, the, the quantum class of ships are all about this seamless integration of technology, that's, mm. what, that's what's happening. It's not... It's not what you'd expect, actually. When you talk about a smart ship, people might be expecting that it's some kind of theme park dedicated to technology. It's nothing, nothing, so, no, nothing could be further from the truth, actually. It's That's a very subtle implementation of technology all, all throughout the ship.